Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic for this training which is on SAP authorization concept. In this topic, we will be covering about the authorization concept that is why do you need an authorization in SAP and using authorization concept basically you protect transactions and programs from authorized used. SAP doesn't allow your user to execute transactions or programs unless he or she has explicitly defined authorizations for the activity. To accomplish this, SAP programs and transactions include authorization checks, which ensures that users have the correct authorization for an action. Basically, he will not be performed any activity unless you assign the right authorization, right set of roles. Okay, here basically it's a hierarchical chart which is showing you about how the user has the user master record and each user master record is consisting of profile or multiple profile or combination of profiles and composite profiles and each profile is having authorization and authorization objects and each authorization object is having fields and values so basically authorization means permission to perform a particular function in the SAP system. It is achieved by assigning authorization profiles to users. Authorization fields, it is the element that requires protection and activity means things like create, modify, delete, display, approve, save, reverse, print, so these are called the activities within SAP system. Okay, so let's get into the details of where these tables are stored, where the authorization is stored. So authorization object basically is a template for security that contains field with uncut values, with blank values. So, so long as we call a term called authorization object, that means there is no value in that object. Basically, we have not defined a value for that object those fields are incomplete okay and these fields these objects basically the transaction to object relationship is stored in a table called us obx underscore c and transaction to object field value relationships are stored in us obt underscore c and you maintain both these through transaction called su24 so basically take note of difference between authorization object and authorization authorization objects and field values and where these objects and field values are stored how do you maintain those field values okay in this particular chart you are seeing the layers basically which layer is at top which is at bottom and here you can see that fields and activity together we call them authorization multiple authorizations are there in an authorization object grouping of authorization object is authorization object class and providing authorization based on authorization object and authorizations is there in the profile and collection of menus auth profiles and personalizations are there in the role so you can see at the bottom the least granular object that we can restrict is an auth field and at the top is the role where it is consisting of auth profiles and personalizations and the way we manage them for the company is suppose for example I want to create an authorization concept for the company and we define roles based on the org structure based on the different departments here you can see an example of an authorization where a user that is a finance clerk is trying to change a posting for a company code 0001. So to achieve this what is required is you require a change which is an activity. You require an object which is the authorization XYZ that is and then the company code which is BUKRS. So these are the three things you require. So first thing is the object. Second is the activity that you want to 
achieve you can display you can change or whatever you want to do then you have the company code that is for that particular company code you want to change okay here you can see the relationship of authorization to t code okay t code to object relationship and special handling flag you can see they are they are in table us obx underscore c c the term you are saying is a customer table so you have us obx underscore c and us obt underscore c so these are the customer table that is these are the tables basically they are these tables are client dependent and modifications via t code su24 is done to reflect them in the sap system you can see this table us obx underscore c you have the sap building blocks that is t code object flag and at the bottom you can see this is t code object field values okay so that is pretty much there that's what actually i wanted to cover in this particular training session so just to recap what we have covered in this we have seen the hierarchy of the different objects in security and now i am going to give you a quick demo of how do we maintain them in sap so to start with i am showing a transaction called code called sc16 in sc16 it's basically a table we view the table and using su24 we maintain the authorization so in this particular t code what you are seeing is it's asking for the type of application the transaction code so let's maintain the transaction code called va21 okay so when we go to va21 transaction code and we press execute we will see basically how this particular t code assignment is to objects and different activities okay so here you can see on the left side is basically the t code va01 which is for create sales order on the right side you have the object the description the check indicator the field values the component in which it falls so just take note that the first object okay so this is basically an object and the field indicator for that is check okay and proposal is yes it is in this particular package if you double click on that object you will see a screen something like that at the bottom okay you have the object you have the activity field you have the different fields and if you just click on the activity field you can see the different activities that is create or generate which is 0 1 delete is 0 6 so basically here you are seeing in su24 for a particular transaction code called va01 this transaction code is consisting of so many objects and each object is consisting of the different fields okay these are the fields and if you click on display it will show you the the, the different values of those objects okay so that is pretty much i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye